بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to my channel QHE Tajweed Rules of the Quran channel in English Today inshallah we will talk about the Tajweed The Tajweed meaning and some important things in the Tajweed The Tajweed, what Tajweed is, تعريفه في اللغة والتحسين. Linguistic definition is improvement. تعريفه في الإصطلاح هو إخراج كل حرف من مخرجه وإعطاؤه حقه ومستحق ومستحقه من الصفات. Applied definition, it is taking each letter out of its مخرج. and giving it its rights and its worth from صفات what we mean by its right and its worth صفة, the right of the letter for example الحرف المفخم the right of the مفخم letter I put my tongue up from the back what's the worth the worth the thing happened because I put my tongue up which is the تفخيم the letter become heavy so Let's continue and understand, insha'Allah, more. It is principle, qawa'iduhu, the science of the tajweed depends in four things. Number one, knowledge of the makhraj of the letters. You should to know the articulation point of the letters very clear and the makhraj of the letters very clear. Number two, knowledge of the characteristics of the letters. You should to know the sifat al huruf We said Makhraj is the last name and the characteristics, this is the human. So like it is very important any letter to have the two of them, the Makhraj and the characteristics to shape this letter right. Number three is knowledge of what rules the change in letters. What we meant by that? We meant by that like, for example, the tanween, if I have dhammatain in the end of any word or any tanween, and I will connect. The letter coming after tanween, I should to follow ikhfa or idhar or idram or iqlab, the rules of noon sakina, for example. So we should to know this knowledge too, the rules of the tajweed, to know the rules of the changing of the letters. Last point, and this is the most important point, exercising the tongue and repeating a lot. A lot of non-Arab, for example, they say sod like seen. And this is not their mistake. This is how they grow up. They don't have these heavy letters in their knowledge, in their um, asfa. They don't have these letters in their language. So they find it's very hard for them to say sod at the beginning. But finally, we find them say sod, how they make it by practicing their tongue. So they keep practicing a tongue because tongue is the second strongest muscle in the body. It's a muscle. As much as you train it, as much as you will reach for your target. Exactly like if you are playing exercise with your hand to build the muscles in your hand. As much as you play, as much as you take care of your muscle, as much as you will reach for your target. Same thing on your tongue. So don't feel disappointed ever in your life about the letters. I can't do it. I don't like to hear this word again. All the time put in your mind, I can do it and I will beat the Arab people. And you can, inshallah. And you can do it. Just keep in your mind, I can. And keep trying as much as you can. Practice your muscles of the tongue. You will reach to the target. And of course, sometimes if we keep practicing with the students, they make the letter once or twice. And they don't practice anymore. They will back to their mistakes. That's why we say, and keep repeating. Keep repeating because usually the tongue will go for the easy thing for him. If your language doesn't have heavy letter, doesn't have ayin, doesn't have this and that, right away, by time you will back for your normal language. Even for Arab, 
I mean, even for Arab, not all of us, all our public language is right. We still have mistakes in our letters. So how can we fix it? By practicing and repeating. Our next point, there is some science related to Tajweed science. And we have five signs. It's very important and it's related to Tajweed signs. The one who studied Tajweed, it's better for him to study these signs. If we go as a branches under these signs, there is a lot of things, but I will give the titles of these signs, which is the knowledge of tafsir, understanding, knowledge of Arabic grammar, sarf and danah, it's very important. Knowledge of waqf and ibtida, where you stop and where you start. One of the knowledges to the way Quran wrote and how it come to us. Rasma al Uthmani. How is the Quran wrote? And how is the Quran come to us? And know the uh, people they uh, make riwaya. All this is yani, as an example from some knowledges we need to know besides the tajweed to uh, read the Quran right. I think this is the main point. Sarf, Nah, Waqf, Ibtida, Rasma, Uthmani and the uh, Tajweed rules and Tafsir. By this, our lesson for today is completely done. Jazakum Allah khairan to watch my channel QHE Tajweed Rules of the Quran Challenge in English. Inshallah, next time we will uh, talk about uh, a new lesson in Tajweed Introduction. Jazakum Allah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.